What is going on, guys? Welcome to Nerfies and Nerfies with Brad. Today, I got three Nerfies slash Nerfies for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. Here, Pete Dogs drop the most repeat videos at anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like, it helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, picks like the most, picks that I'm betting myself personally, go to pitdogs.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. Alrighty, guys, hope everyone's doing well while I'm recording this. We are one and one on Tuesdays, Nerfies and Nerfies. We did have a winning day on Monday. Hopefully, we could secure a winning day on Tuesday and start building back our momentum. We needed a winning day after a tough weekend, and we got it. So let's keep it going, and let's keep building this record, all right? Um, so let's get right into this, man. So the first pick, <clears throat> we're headed to, it's like deja vu, because I think I did this pick on Tuesday's video, and it was the first pick we went over, and we're doing it again. It's the Giants and the Pirates. Look, we lost uh, We lost the one on Tuesday. They scored in the first inning. I think it was the Giants who scored. Uh, but we're going right back to it, man. I, I think this is a good Yerfie matchup. We got Blake Snell on the mound for the Giants. And Blake Snell, if you've been watching this program for a little bit, he's one of my favorite pitchers. I think Blake Snell's legit. But he's been goddamn awful this season. 11.57 ERA. Um, he's had limited starts, but goddamn Blake Snell. I think he has to get it together at some point. And I think against this Pirates team is, is a good spot to get it at. On the other hand, we got Jones on the mound for the Pirates. And he's been solid. 2.89 or, yeah, that's an 8. 2.89 ERA. And we got a total of 8 here. Juice down to the under. I'm going to say these same stats that I said in last in yesterday's video. The Pittsburgh Pirates are one of the best Nerfy teams in the league. They are 30-18 and 18 to the Nerfy so far this season. And I just think Blake Snow has to get it together at some point. So I'm not really worried about the Pirates scoring in these uh, these first three outs, but I the only team I'm really worried about is the Giants, but I have faith in Jones uh, to get the job done. Like I said, he's been really solid. And the Giants have been a nerfy team as well this season, 20 and 27 and 21 to the nerfy. So I'm going right back to it. I just don't I don't think we see two Yerfies in a row for this type of matchup. So I'll take my chances with the nerfy in the Giants versus Pirates game. Next, let's head to Miami, South Florida, baby. Go into the beach. We got Milwaukee versus the Marlins. And I'm going to go with the Nerfy here as well. Got a total 7.5 juice down to the under. So the odds may be a little juicy for this one, guys. You may need a, um, a little parlay piece. But I think this is a, a, a nice little Nerfy spot for both these squads. <clears throat> for the Brewers, we got Peralta on the mound. We all know how good Freddie, Freddie P is. He does his job. He's very consistent. I think he's able to get three outs, especially against this, this crappy Miami Marlins lineup. When it comes to the Brewers, they are 22-22 and 22 to the Nerfy. For Miami, we got Lizardo on the mound. <clears throat> Lizardo's been one of the better pitchers the last couple of years. He's kind of been Miami's guy. This season, though, 5.02 ERA. He's still trying to get it together. He's still trying to get it together. I think he does at some point this season. So I think uh, Lizardo, I think we're just kind of waiting for a good start from him. The Miami Marlins have been a nerfy team all season long, 27 and 20 to the nerfy. I think we got two solid pitchers here <clears throat> who have proved themselves. I think it's a good spot to take nerfy. Let me pick up my pen. It's funny, when I do videos, I always have a pen in my hand, and I'm not going to lie, I don't write anything down. It just feels right. It just feels right. Like, like when I'm chatting, I don't know what it is, guys. I don't know what it is. But we're going to do a nerfy in the Milwaukee versus Miami game. Last but not least, where are we headed? Where are we headed? Oh! This is probably the freest nerfy on the board. This is probably the freest nerfy on the board. If uh, this nerfy doesn't hit, I may, I, may, uh, I may retire. Go live on a farm or something. Uh, maybe become a Mormon. But we got the Tigers versus the Royals. We got Scuba on the mound for the Tigers. Having an incredible year. Um, fantastic year. I mean, goddamn. 1.80 ERA. And we got Cole Reagans on the mound with a 3.70 ERA. Uh, I'm definitely not worried about the Royals scoring here. Scooball is not going to allow any runs against his Royals team <clears throat> in the first inning. I'm just going to put that out there. The Royals are the sixth best Nerfy team in the league, 29 and 17 to the Nerfy. And when it comes to the Tigers, where are the Tigers at on this list? I'm not going to lie, I've been screwed over by some Tigers Nerfies this season. Uh, they're 22 and 22 to the Nerfy. I got faith in Cole Riggins. I'm a Cole Riggins guy. If you've been watching this program, you know that. We just need to get three outs from, from Cole Reagans. If we get three outs from Cole Reagans, we win this. Uh, we win this nerfy. Because Scooball is not allowed on a run. Scooball is not allowing a run. So I'll take my chances with the nerfy in that one. 
That's going to do it, guys. Let's recap this one. Let's go 3-0 on Wednesday. First pick, Giants versus Pirates. Give me the nerfy. Second pick, Brewers versus Marlins. Give me the nerfy as well. Third pick, Tigers versus the Royals. Give me the nerfy. Appreciate you guys watching this. Um, if you want to follow my handicap career more closely, you can follow me on Instagram at BrownWinsBets. <clears throat> Post all my wins and losses there, my pick-toss content, other free picks. It all funnels back into there, so that's a great way to support me. But most importantly, subscribe to Pitos on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.